Sunny Marjoram, Product Line Manager for Hoka Performance Footwear. Many ingredients come together to make Hoka's first super shoe. Being a triathlete myself and training for an upcoming 70.3, I can really appreciate this shoe. After getting through the swim and the bike and you have the run left, it's reassuring to know that you have a shoe on foot that will help you 
get to the finish line as fast as humanly possible. The outsole of the Rocket X2 uses a super strategic lightweight rubber coverage. What's great about this is when you're going through races, if it's sandy or it's wet, you have that extra confidence of grip to really get through the run. We use super advanced foam called Piba with a soft top layer and a more responsive bottom layer. Now in between these two foams, we have a scooped carbon fiber plate. This is here to enhance the propulsion to make sure it feels super fast and speedy underfoot. So coming off the bike into T2, you have to put on your shoe really fast, right? Now the Rocket X2, we thought through that. So we made sure to have a super technical lightweight upper along with a dual gusseted tongue. So once you put it on your foot and tie it all in, the tongue isn't gonna go anywhere. When designing the Rocket X2, weight was super important. So we made sure we picked all the materials to make it as light as possible. And this comes in about as light as a softball. How does the Rocket X2 feel on foot? It feels light and it feels super, super fast. Typically, when I put this shoe on, I have to hold myself back because I wanna keep pushing the pace.
gut going, hey, we've got this new product going, we want to challenge what stability looks like. How do we help you get forward and enjoy your runs? So you don't have to think about initially what's going on here this month. It's a performance trainer that gives you a little bit of guidance and it can find a spot on pretty much anyone's rotation. The Tempest is one of those shoes that starts to change the conversation about stability and allows you to merge between performance, structure, guidance, and not just traditional thinking about what stability means in a shoe. Sometimes you gotta switch it up. Focus. Faster. Breathe. Faster. I'll turn your echo. Computer. On. 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 Initiating. Cloud Surfer Optimization Program Scanning Runner Identifying Potential Testing Updating Run Solutions Found Calibrating Technology Evolution Result Cloud Tech Phase Initiating Optimal Rolling Motion Entering new cushioning dimension. Cloud Surfer. 
make waves. Are carbon tubes only suitable for races? <laughs> Definitely not. The New Balance Fuel Cell Supercom Trainer V2 proves this. This model is suitable for every runner who wants to efficiently complete fast endurance runs, interval training or races of 10K or more in maximum comfort. I'm Manon, product expert at 21 Run, and I'll tell you all about these fast trainers. The fuel cell midsole has been made more stable so that more runners can enjoy this shoe. In addition, the outsole has been made slightly thicker, making this everyday carbon shoe more durable. And if we look at the heel cap, it is shaped away from the calf to prevent pressure on the Achilles tendon. The upper is lightweight and highly breathable, keeping your feet cool during longer runs or races. The fuel cell midsole and carbon plate with the Energy Arc system give you an energy boost, even when your legs get tired. The carbon plate has a curved construction, which allows it to flex and spring back. The Supercomp Trainer V2 has the optimal combination of maximum cushioning and energy return. This shoe with carbon plate is ideal for races and daily training sessions at a moderate to high pace. If you're looking for the ultimate race shoe, then I recommend the Supercomp Elite or the Supercomp Pacer. The New Balance Supercomp Trainer V2 is available at 21 Run. The Mach X is a new extension of the Mach family. It has the comfort and support of the Mach plus the speed of the Rocket X2. The Mach X uses a ProFly X construction. This means it has a top PIBA foam layer, a bottom EVA layer, and sandwiched between a PBAX plate to give you that extra propulsion for your workouts. We added super durable rubber coverage for those extra miles of training. The Mach X uses a beautifully designed Creole Jacquard upper paired with a dual gusseted tongue to keep you in place when you really push the pace. Now I'm a big mock wearer and I've started introducing the Mach X into my workout routines and it's make a huge difference. It has the same stable base as the Mach, which is what I love so much about it, but it has an added plate. So it gives you that extra propulsion that you need to hit those splits and workouts. If you're newer to plated shoes, this is a great shoe to ease you into that field and start you getting a little bit more comfortable in how your body responds biomechanically. I like bringing the Mach X in for my midweek workouts because it gives me that extra propulsion without being as aggressive as a race day shoe. The Mach X is a great triathlon training shoe to add to your quiver. 